Today, we're going to talk about how cortisol, our stress hormone, leads to the most common hormonal disruptions or imbalances that I see in my practice. Cortisol is secreted in times of stress. Whenever your nervous system feels a dysregulation or there's changes within your nervous system, there is an activation of your primary stress response. The first one that I see is hypothyroidism. This is in response to your body trying to conserve energy. So cortisol literally blocks thyroid production and inactivates the thyroid hormone in order to conserve energy from a perceived threat, whether that be an actual threat or just a perceived threat that the body is initiating a stress response to. The second one that I see is PCOS. PCOS is a high androgen condition where there's too much testosterone. And this could be because there's too much cortisol, which all leads to the precursor of DHEA, which is the precursor to testosterone. And the last one that I see is extreme PMS or extreme menopausal symptoms like hot flashes or night sweats. Other symptoms to see if stress is affecting your hormones are below. So feeling wired but tired, chronically overwhelmed and burnt out, having an energy crash around 3 to 4 p.m., needing coffee throughout your day, lower sex drive, regular blood sugar crashes, and episodes of hangriness. Getting out of the chronic stress response is what is going to help balance your hormones in the terms of high cortisol. And today I'm going to give you a few different tips to help regulate your cortisol response. So naturopathic medicine helps to improve your resilience to your stress response. It can help you create a loving relationship with your body. So here are a few tips to help regulate and heal your stress response. The first one is to keep your blood sugar nice and stable. So you wanna make sure you start your day off with protein, have a healthy fat in every meal, and don't skip meals. The second one would be to regulate your sleep and circadian rhythm by skipping caffeine. I know that might be, seem daunting to some people, but a few cups of coffee, even if a few cups of coffee a day, increases those hormonal disruptions I previously talked about. And it also has a big impact on fertility, menstrual irregularities like menstrual cramps even, sleep disruptions, and more. Coffee can also increase our stress response and blood sugar, which all lead to those symptoms of insulin resistance and PCOS. And my last few tips are exercise regularly, go outside every single day, get some vitamin D, and do something relaxing or fun, whether that's a hot bath, a massage, a cup of tea, or time with friends and family. If you like this video, go ahead and follow us for more tips and tricks on health and wellness.